welcome to a uh, half an hour of call. I'm Steve Heap. Um, slow is the new strong. I'm going to go quite slowly tonight so that you are fully, you feel everything that is happening in your body and also in your mind. So I want you to slow down and concentrate. So starting with your feet underneath your hips, I want you to just close your eyes here and then press down really strongly into your heels and your toes until you feel your core line, your belly start to activate. Try and visualize really deep into the skeleton, into the deepest part of your pelvis. And then press down some more. And then as you do this, start to feel a little squeeze between your thighs and then lift up through the roof of your mouth. So this is already getting into the core line of the body. So the core isn't just here, it's everything that's in the centre of the limbs. Okay, so from there, take a few balances just to warm through. So start by pressing down through your left foot as much as you can. Squeeze your left thigh, press, 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 and then it's as if you are vacuuming your right hip into its socket. And the result is your foot, your right foot lifts just a fraction and spread the toes. The feet should be more or less level. We're going to hold this for 10 seconds. Keep pressing down through your left foot and pick up through your right heel. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. In slow motion, keep the toes spread, right foot, bring the foot down. Side two. So press down through your right foot, press to lift, squeeze through your right thigh. This leg is having to do the work. And then it's like you're vacuuming from the top of the left uh, leg up into the hip, up into the core. So this happens, and then your left foot lifts. Spread the toes and squeeze the fronts of both of your thighs. This time, if you'd like a challenge, by all means, take your arms up above your head and even take your hands into a, a, a clasp position. We'll go for 10. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And very slowly, take them down. So that simple act of balance creates heat in the core. Don't let's do a great deal. Let's ratchet it up one yacht. So press down through your left foot. Make sure that you can feel all of the toes pressing down and the heel. Then take your right knee up and draw it towards your chest. For a challenge here, take your arms up above your head. And then breathe in and press down through your left foot. And as you breathe out, just start to take your right knee out to the right. Draw back into the centre, breathing in, and on the breath out, draw out. Three more times. In and out. Twice more. Breathe in, breathe out. The last time, inhale and then exhale super slowly, bring the foot back down and immediately get strong through your legs. Let's take it side two. So strong through the right foot, strong through the right thigh, and then with all the pressing down of the right foot, your left leg gets really light and buoyant. So you draw up like this, draw the knee towards the chest. If you want a challenge here, take the arms up, take a breath in, and on the breath out, just extend your leg out. Don't look where your knee is going. Try and look forwards. Come back in, breath in. Four more. Out and in. Keep your fingers pressing up and your shoulder blades pulling down. Draw in. Three more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. 
So uh, don't splatter the foot down, bring it down really slowly. Feel the foot, uh, the toes start to spread as the foot comes down. Take one more in the balance. So we're warming the hips here and the core, and then we'll work to the core going on the shoulders. So from here, uh, take a breath in. Draw your right knee up into your heart space. Lift your arms up, and then extend your leg out. Point the toes back towards you and press the heel away from you. Squeeze your hips together as if you're wearing the tightest belt imaginable. And I will count 10 seconds here. Remember, slow is the new strong. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring the foot down really, really slowly, really slowly. Then we focus on the left. So the right now will have to be very strong. The more you press down to the right, the more you'll activate through the core line. So you draw the left knee up, and then the arms go up overhead, shoulder blades down. See if you can pull your biceps towards your ears as well. That will draw you into the midline. And extend it out. Toes push back, pull back towards you, and the heel presses away. Stare at one fixed spot, and feel strong through the center of the body, to the absolute core. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then bring yourself down nice and slowly. Well done. And then warm to the shoulders now. These are deceptive, so let's go slowly. Take your arms out. Spread your fingers. Push your fingertips away from each other. But then imagine that they're trying to pull back towards each other. So you're actually getting very strong in the, shoulder, in the chest, the shoulder girdle. And then from there, you go forwards and backwards with your arms. We'll do about ten of these. Ten, nine, eight. Keep pulling up to the side, seven, six, five, and then change direction for five, five, four, big circle, three, two, one. Keep the arms up. Now we're just going to go to smaller circles, smaller circles, so halfway. Here we go. We'll go forwards and backwards. So it's ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, then come go backwards and forwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep your arms out. You're going to feel this. We're just working through the shoulders now, strengthening and stretching. Now you're going to make really small circles, and they are small. So nothing like this, they're much smaller. So here we go. Go forwards and backwards. Five, four, three, two, one, backwards and forwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Keep going backwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Forwards. Five, four. Smaller circles. Three, two, one. One more. Minute circles. Five, four, three, two, one. Backwards and forwards. Five, four, three, two, one. Give the shoulders a shake. So now the hip socket, the hip girdle, the sort of like the shoulder girdle and the hips are now fully working. So for me, they're the two principal sets of joints that we need for this class. Bring yourself down now onto uh, the floor. We're going to take a plank pose and we're going to hold this plank for 30 seconds tonight. So remember, slow is the strong strength of this. So come forward. Let's all go together into the shape. So bring your right hand forward, press it down, and then really press into the mound between the thumb and your index finger. That's where the weight needs to be, not in the outer hand, in the inner hand. Now bring the left down, and again, press the weight into the space between thumb and index finger. From there, claw your fingertips into the floor, and then try and pull your forearms towards each other until your arms start to shake. Slightly draw your weight forward now so the shoulders start to look over the wrists. Keep 
pressing down into your hands and pulling your forearms together as you extend the right leg back, just the right leg. Come up on the toes and then squeeze the inner right thigh, the inner the thigh itself, and then pull your forearms together as you step the left foot back. Draw the weight forward and take your gaze straight ahead. So here you want to be picking the belly button upwards towards the spine and squeezing your forearms together and your inner thighs. Now close your eyes, it will give you more inspection and more feeling. Are you ready for 30 seconds? If you can't manage the full 30, drop at any time, but stay. Here we go. 30, 29, 28, 7, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. Forearms need to squeeze more. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. Squeeze inner thighs together. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. Press the hands down more into the inner hand. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, come down onto your knees. Well done. Sit up on your heels and then just take your hands forward. Create a little fist here so the fingers pull in and then just explode out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. So given the theme of tonight, which is slower than you strong. We're going to hold now the neck, and this is a bit more challenging, so have a go where you can. Bring yourselves, I'll, I'll demonstrate it and then you can do it. So I'm going to go into it, basically I'm going to go into a plank, I'm going to round the plank slightly, so it's what's known as a downward dog, but think of it as a rounded plank. And then I'm going to bring my right knee onto my right tricep and hover and hold it for the count of ten. I'll demonstrate it, then you can do it. So here, here. My right leg goes up, my right knee comes in, and I pull my forearms together, I look forward, I squeeze my left thigh, and hold this position, look at my foot going towards my butt, and hold that position for 10 seconds. So, preparing, remember the hands are pressing down, and the inner hands are going to be taking the weight towards the inner hands. Okay, find your inverted V, draw your right knee onto your right tricep, Squeeze your forearms together, look straight ahead, and imagine you're at the back of your heart reaching up to the sky. Hold, hold, sweat, whatever. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Step back to your rounded plank. Don't come down. Don't come down. Reset the hands, squeeze the thigh, and now take the left knee to the left tricep. And squeeze your forearms together, and try and get your heel up towards your butt. Arms are straight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down onto your knees. And give your wrists a bit of a shake. So this is really good, solid stuff that creates a strength, like I said, it's not just about getting the six pack, um, in fact it's deeper than that, your arms work, pulling your arms in activates the centre of the arm, pulling your thigh in activates the centre of your leg, you become, if you like, centrically strong, which is what I'm looking, what you're looking for. Okay, so go back into that position again, let me just demonstrate what we'll do, I'll keep it really simple. Uh, you can watch a set, use the opportunity. My hands are taking my weight into the Athena part here. I am squeezing my forearms together. My belly is squeezing in. My tailbone is cutting under. Up I go. This is a much more difficult one. We'll hold only for five. So the right leg goes up, and then you bring the left knee onto your left tricep. You pr uh, sorry, your right knee to your left tricep. You press your hands down and forward, and you draw in and you squeeze the forearms together, so it is twisted. We work into the side core now. Over to you. Are you ready? So find your inverted V. 
Don't be afraid to spend time getting the alignment right. So press into the inner edges of the hands, pull belly button back in and up, and then bring your uh, lift your right leg and take it over to your left tricep. And as you're doing this, concentrate on pulling the belly button back and up and pulling the forearms together. Here we go. I will add in a few extra seconds. We'll do seven seconds. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Go straight back into the inverted V. So straight back. And then go on the other side. So lift up the left leg. Draw forward with the left knee and then place the left knee on the right tricep. Go high, glue it, velcro it, and then press into the floor with your hands. Here we go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Go back up, 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 up into the rounded high plank and we'll hold this now for seven seconds. Try and get your six bones, your bum, higher and press your hands away from you. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it all the way down. Well done. So as I said to you, we've worked the whole body here, which is um, the whole point of it. Give your wrist a little bit of a shake. So you can see we're coming down slowly here. So we're going to hold now what they call a, a falling, a falling staff position, which is a bent arm plank. It's strong. So I'll demonstrate it. You watch, and then you will do it. So the way this is done is as follows: draw in, start here, start on your knees, and then pull your belly button in, squeeze into, almost like your ribs are trying to touch each other, and then slowly you come down. So you keep the continuity of the center line here. You bring your hands down, you reach, you press into the inner edges of the hands and you spread the fingers. Forearms pull towards each other. This will activate the serratus here. From there, step back and immediately start to squeeze that leg. So you want to be active as you're finding your way into the plank and then you go to the left. So I'll demonstrate what I'm going to do. I'm going to come forward now, then I'm going to bend my arms and hold my shoulders and my elbows at one level. So it's this. And I'm going to hold that, or you're going to hold that position, the halfway 90 degree angle, for the count of 10 seconds. So how do you do that? You squeeze like crazy. You go forward as far as you can and you squeeze your belly and you squeeze your forearms and your inner thighs. Okay, let's have a go. So find your way, first of all, into high, into a plank. So align, align, squeeze the belly, squeeze the forearms. Now bring your weight forward so that the shoulders start to go over the wrists. And then keep the elbows pulling into your ribs as you fold down halfway. And I want you to go to an honest halfway. So elbows and shoulders are on one straight line. Here we go. We're going to go for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Press back up to plank. And hold the plank for 5 seconds more. 5, 4, 3, 2, one, go back up to rounded plank, down with dog. Back up, hold five, four, three, two, one. Come forward again, drop back to that halfway position. We're nearly there, we're nearly there. And then slowly, slowly bring yourself down onto your bellies and release. So well done. Again, slow is a new strong. It's my kind of thinking at the moment and it's working for me. So it probably works for you too and give your wrist a little bit of a shake. So we're going to start to work up uh, as ever towards an arm balance and I'm also going to add an inversion in tonight's class as well. So um, let me just check the, keep an eye on the time here, the magic of the time. So we're fine. So I just want to help you now just to get a bit of strength to the core. So we're just going to work very simply into a seated version of this. And we're just going to hold. It's going to be no more than a hold. We're going to do 10 seconds in three dimensions, in three different forms. 
starting here, uh, let, you can watch me first. Watch me on number one. So if you watch me, you'll hear me, and then I can then I can say. So draw the belly button in and up. Uh, wrap the shoulders. That means that you're almost pulling the biceps, the tri biceps forward, and the triceps back. And then very very slowly, as you start to pull in the core, you draw the knees up towards the chest, and then you extend the legs. You can have them bent. But if you want to challenge, of course, take them straight. And the energy line is running from the second toe, right up the shin, right up the centre line, the core of my leg, into my core. So it's a running line of energy. If you want to go a bit further, lift your arms. So here, I'm imagining that I'm squeezing a block between my thighs, and this automatically activates through my core. Everybody, find that. But, again a line as you go into it. So don't just get up there and then try and work out what I said. Think about it progressively. We go for 10 seconds here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then bring yourselves down. So we'll have a go at doing a second version of that now. A little bit more fun. So take hold of your toes and see if you can just lift up the legs, lift up the legs and hold them here. But here I'm pressing through my sitting bones at the base of my bum cheeks basically and pulling my inner thighs together and pressing my toes into my fingers. This is giving me the lift. So we're going to hold here for the count of 10 seconds. So a little bit higher. It's more in the balance now, so the core has to activate. Are you ready? Ten, nine, belly button engaged, everybody. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yeah, bring it down, bring it down. And the last one we're going to try is see if we can take hold of the outer edges of the feet and then draw up from the outer edges. And this time you can start to draw your belly towards your thighs and your chin towards your shins. So you've got the outer edges of the feet. There's a flexibility challenge there as well. So you're in the third of the three parts of this. 10 seconds, remember, squeeze the belly and lift the heart. 10, 9, 8, 7, Five, four, three, two, one, down you come. Well done, everybody. You've done it. You've done it. Take a moment here, get the breath, and mirror all the effort with ease. So you need to balance this class. It's not the easiest of classes, I know. It's a lot of holes. Okay, so from there, I'm going to have a little go tonight at working towards a headstand. I'm just going to demonstrate a very simple way that you can start to learn this. So some of you will just walk in a little bit, others will go into it. It will be our pose of the night. So let me show you. I will demonstrate it. It's important that you watch me. So I'm here. I start off by... I'm going to talk it. My voice might, get, might drop a bit because I'm a head going down, but um, watch me rather than listen necessarily. So I start off here on all fours, and I come down onto my elbows. I then touch both of my triceps. This is the distance that I need to be. And then I bring my head, I interlace my hands, and bring the crown of my head, the very top of my head, onto the floor. From there, I press down through my forearms and lift my legs straight. So hear that? And like this, I press down through my forearm, squeeze my core, and lift up. Let me show you. You might want to stay there. That might be where you want to stay tonight. That's an inverted position, fantastic for the heart, for the blood. But if you want to go further, what you do is you start to walk your legs in. So again, watch me. You could decide you want to stay there, in which case I want you to really squeeze the core and press your forearms down. The pressing the forearms down takes the weight out of your head. From there, you can bend one knee and draw it into the chest. 
and then the other. So again, let me demonstrate. I won't speak it, because otherwise my voice, you'll get lost in my voice. So I'm just going to show you. So your option is one leg, both legs, or try both. What are you looking to do here? You're looking to Velcro your belly to your thighs. So just watch me again. I'm going to Velcro my belly to my thighs. And my, um, my feet, my heels go towards my butt. So you just break it down. The final option, this is a little tutorial for you, is why we do core work for the real loveliness of doing, being able to do this sort of stuff. It's very calisthenic. Here we go. So I'm going to start to just lift my legs up now. You can have a go if you want to. Break it down. So again, I'm going to go from the start. I'm going to walk in, get my position, get my alignment spot on. Up I go. Watch me here. And then I'm just going to lift up and just take my feet up. So look at my feet, they're pulling together, my belly button's drawing in, my forearms are pressing down. And then to come back down, I try to velcro my belly to my thigh. So watch. Whoops. And I'm back. Sadly, I can't see you, but I really ain't going to ask you to go just part of the way if you feel that's all you're going to do. Remember, this is something new for many of you, I expect, but it's doable. Off you go. Don't, I won't demonstrate, I'll talk over this so that you can, I, you can be reminded. So make sure that you're constantly pressing your forearms into the floor and trying to squeeze your elbows towards each other. So don't st struggle the arms out or you'll lose the chest. Your belly button is always drawing back and your, the idea is to Velcro your belly and your thighs together and keep your heel as close to your butt as you can. Okay, so there's lots of instruction there that makes the float really light, really light. Good work. So nice to see. Okay, if you've got a wall nearby, I, do I encourage you to use a wall? Yes, if you've got the fear. But if you feel what I can actually do is I'll have a go without the wall, then do so. You'll probably roll your pony out anyway. So, good work. Lovely. And then come down, take a moment, take a moment, just rest. So just drop your hips down, uh, kneel down, drop your hips back to your heels, and then bring your um, head down, just bring your head down. And then go again, just see where you get to. Um, in my experience, we practice, we repeat the body stuff to learn the mind, body, uh, neuromuscular patterns that enable us to do it. And remember, go slowly. And also, keep aligning. So what I'm saying is, don't get to a position and think, what did he say? Be doing it as you go to it. So constantly press the forearms down, draw the elbows in, squeeze the core, until you get a nice lift. And congratulations if you're maybe just walking slightly forward. And congratulations if your legs are up in the air. You have done a headstand, regardless of where you've got to tonight. Um, believe me, it's just so beautiful when your body can do it, uh, simply because you're nice to your body. Everybody, bring yourselves all the way down. And from there, you just take a couple of deep stretches. So start with your legs straight down the mat. And then imagine that you're pressing your feet into a wall, so there's a sense then of resistance. And when you're resisting, it's called active stretching. Lift your arms up above your head. And as you breathe,
breathe out, pull your belly button back, suck it back, suck it back, suck it up, and then look between your big toes and imagine your heart reaching for your big toes. Your hands go to wherever they go. Some of you will be right down, others of course will be here, and that's fine. Wherever you are, close your eyes. And just allow the breath to flow for about 10 seconds here. So I won't count breaths, I'll count seconds. Just releasing a little bit into the back of the hips. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then from there, lie down on your back. And then bend your knees and walk your feet up towards your bum. Okay, bring your arms down by the side and plant your, plant your palms flat and walk your feet a little bit closer to your bum. Possibly you can tickle the back of your heel with your foot. And then from there, press down through the back of your head, through your belly button to try to get the belly flattened down, and through your heel. And as you press down through the back of the head, the heels and the belly button, let your hips float up into the air. So it's called a bridge pose. And from there, try to pull your feet, don't let them move, but try and pull your feet towards the shoulders, like try to drag them into the rest of the body and feel the energy go across it. And then when you've done that, let your knees go the opposite direction, so your core stretches out. It's like a really deep stretch. And do that a couple of times. So as you breathe in, you try and pull the feet into the body. And as you breathe out, you press the knees away from the body. And you get this lovely push-pull um, through the rectus abdominis and through the part of the hip flexors. And then from there, bring yourself to the floor. So lying down, draw your knees into your chest and spread your arms out nice and wide. So... Um, you feel that everything has got lots of space in it now. Rather than compressing, we are opening. And then pull both of your knees in towards your chest. Don't use your hands. And then drop both of your knees down to the right. And let your gaze go over your left shoulder so your head turns left. And we'll hold this for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Uh, bring bring your leg and knees back to centre and then let them both drop to the left. Mind that your right shoulder blade doesn't lift here. It doesn't matter if it does, but try not to so the stretch is more full, is fuller. And then let your gaze just meander over your right shoulder. So you're in a twist with the spine. Holding for 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Come back. And then all I want you to do, all you're going to do is bring your arms in towards halfway. So there's a little bit of space between the arms and the legs. So the arms drop down by the side of the body. Spread your legs down the mat. Take the feet a bit further apart. And then let the feet open like a book. So it's almost like the outer edges of your feet drop down and the inner edges point up. Now let everything go and just um, in this position your body will um, process and it will um, digest the work you've just done and you will emerge more knowledgeable mind and body and how to do some of this stuff. Please don't be, don't beat yourself up if a lot of this stuff you couldn't manage. Um, just enjoy the ride. It does take a long time, and the headstands and stuff that floating the headstand is not done in one class. It can be, but it's not. It's a, it's a, it's a good 12 months, at least, of discipline and understanding, which I hope I've given to you. So from there, all I'm going to say to you is, Really great, really grateful to you all for coming and just trying something a bit different with me. Um, always happy to help you. Uh, you can post, uh, send me a message if you want any help on anything. I can guide you to other videos that might be useful on YouTube and stuff that are uh, 
explain this stuff when I'm not there. Um, have a beautiful rest of the evening. Enjoy the nice weather. It's got sunny today, and I hope to see you again very soon.